So I am making lip balm today, I'm making deodorant today, I'm making, um, we call it magic stuff, it's a salve, I'm making that today. <laughs> until craft show day and I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I am trying to spend today making all the stuff that I need to make so I can spend tomorrow labeling all the stuff I need to label and then Tuesday I can pack and go. Thankfully this show is not until the evening so I have all Tuesday morning to get ready and get everything packed up. Um, a couple of you have asked how I got started doing soaps and with Bumblewood and stuff like that. Um, if you saw our 30 random facts video, you saw that I have the business, and you also saw that our kids were born three months premature, our twins. And those things go together. So this story actually starts about 10 years ago. Gosh, I feel old, 10 years ago. <laughs> um, they were born premature, and because they were three months early, that meant we spent three months in the NICU with them. And um, if you're familiar at all, or not familiar, with how hospitals work, and NICUs specifically, you have to scrub down. Um, every time you even look in the window just about <laughs> at your kid, uh, every time you walk in there, you have to scrub down. Every time you change a diaper, you scrub, obviously. Um, every time, even with the twins, we would have to scrub between children. So I would you know, spend time with Ty Ty and do skin to skin with him, and then I would have to scrub down before I could go do it with Jack. So there was a whole lot of scrubbing and a whole lot of horrible, harsh, awful hospital soap. So by the end of the three months, my hands were so cracked and bleeding and just completely torn up, which, and it was horrid, it was so bad. And everything I tried on the market didn't work. Um, it either didn't help at all, just nothing happened, or it made it worse because of the alcohol and the preservatives and the synthetic ingredients in it. Um, it compounded the issue a lot of times. So I tried everything on the market that I could, nothing helped, and eventually, through a bunch of more steps, um, I wound up doing a lot of research and making my own lotion bars. Um, I was the only thing that I found that actually helped. I, I think the first version I did was like coconut oil and shea butter and some beeswax, and it worked. And I had finally, after two years, this took me two years to get to the point of finally making my own after the kids were born, and that was when I, I finally found something that worked and that started me on my journey to a more natural lifestyle and trying not to use anything that uses synthetics and preservatives and all the nasty terrible things that can wreck, wreak havoc on your system and can mess with your skin. Um, so from there I started making lip balm and then after that um, Ben had suggested I try making soap because his mom made soap when he was younger and he really loved it. It was one of his favorite things. So I tried making soap and the soap helped with his skin, um, a couple of dryness issues that he was having. Usually during the winter his hands would get really rough and cracked 
um, not to the extent of mine, but just kind of that red irritated winter skin that you get. And by using the soap, he didn't have the problem anymore. So that was really cool. And then I moved on to deodorant because I was having a lot of weird reactions, like spots and stuff that showed up, which was really creepy, um, when using commercial deodorant. And that was really freaking me out. And I was getting like rashes and irritation, which I didn't like. So I tried making my own deodorant, and not only did the rashes stop, but the spots went away, which really freaked me out even more about the commercial deodorant. So I'm, I'm never going back to commercial skincare if I can help it. And so that's kind of where it's all progressed. <laughs> so it was one thing at a time, one step at a time. And I finally got to the point where I realized if I'm having these problems, a lot of other people are probably having the same problem too. A lot of people suffer from eczema and super dry skin and rashes and just basic issues from their environment, from um, maybe their diet, from the commercial products they're using and they don't realize that that's triggering their issues. So I realized that I should probably, if I could, start a business to help other people with their skincare issues too. So I did. Um, it's been three and a half years now since Bumblewood was officially born. And I've been having a ton of fun. I do craft shows periodically throughout the year, usually a couple in spring and a couple in um, like the Christmas season. And then I sell online. And I've made so many friends and met so many awesome, amazing people through this adventure. It has been so cool. Um, it's really been a blessing for us. It has helped out a lot in a lot of different ways and it's just been really fun. I, I've really enjoyed it. I've burned out a few times because it does get kind of crazy when you're trying to you know, juggle all the things, but um, it has been fun. It's been really awesome, and Tuesday is one of my favorite events of the year, so I'm getting prepared for that. So I am making lip balm today. I'm making deodorant today. I'm making, um, we call it magic stuff. It's a salve. I'm making that today. Um, I think that's about it, and then I should be caught up, and I will be like I said, packaging tomorrow, and then getting ready for Tuesday, and yeah, I, that's pretty much it. So that's the day today, is just making, and getting ready, and having fun. 